What is up YouTube? Today I wanted to talk about what exactly kept me motivated in med school. And I'm already starting to laugh because you guys are probably gonna make fun of me for it once I tell you. So let's get to it. So for those of you guys in med school, you probably already know that staying motivated is one of the hardest things to do. When you're sliding through textbooks day in and day out, sometimes 12, 16 hours a day, it can be really difficult to stay motivated. You oftentimes get depressed saying, why am I doing this? This is way too much work. Who in their right mind would even sign up for this stuff? So I'll let you in on a little secret. And you have to promise me that you don't laugh because it's kind of cheesy but it's definitely what helped me stay motivated in med school. Okay, so after studying multiple hours in the library, I would come home and I would get my iPad out and I would turn on none other than Grey's Anatomy. That's right, Grey's Anatomy is the sole thing that kept me motivated in med school. I don't know why, it just did. And for those of you who don't know what Grey's Anatomy is, first of all, I mean, do you live under a rock or something? Second of all, it is a medical TV show, TV series, and it's super dramatic. Uh, it's been around for like 15 seasons. I mean, if you don't know what Grey's Anatomy is and your medicine, I mean, you need to reevaluate your life. Anyways, so I think why I liked this show was because it was so dramatic and it revolved around the hospital. For me, it was almost like an emotional bond because I was going through med school and was also watching all these dramatic disease processes on Grey's Anatomy and watching them treat them and watching them get better. And it was, it was almost so dramatic that that's what I needed. It's, it was motivation. It's like you want to help patients, you want to make them get better. And the drama that came with the actual TV show kind of helped me stay motivated. And I know what you're thinking. You're like, Michael, that's crazy. You're such a loser. Why are you watching Grey's Anatomy when you should be studying? But just hear me out. I want you to just try it. So if you're in med school or if you're pre-med or whatnot, and if you're really studying hard and you're really getting bogged down in the notes and you need to take a break, I want you to just turn on Grey's Anatomy or like even any other super hardcore dramatic medical TV show. And I want you to just watch an episode and you really get kind of sucked into it and it really kind of makes you want to be a doctor. I don't know, it's just, it's crazy, it's weird. Maybe it was just me, I don't know. Try it out, see what you think. So these shows actually do a pretty good job of diving into medical knowledge and medical jargon. And it's actually pretty cool, especially in your preclinical years of med school, where you actually start to understand a lot of this jargon and you can almost see where they're going with the patient. And you can almost guess what the course of treatment plan is gonna be for the patient or what surgery they're gonna have, or you at least heard of what they're talking about. And it's kind of cool that you actually know what they're doing. And I know the stuff they're doing isn't exactly like real surgery or real medical care, but the words that you know and that you've learned in med school come up a lot during the show. So it's a way for you to actually see that you're learning something in med school. So I hope that makes sense. So the, the more you learn in med school, the more words and more jargon and more treatment plans you'll recognize on these dramatic TV shows, and it makes you feel like you're becoming a doctor. So again, before you think I'm crazy, just try it. Turn on one of these dramatic TV shows, watch it like after a long day of studying. Don't just watch it on a Saturday. Watch it after a long day of studying, and then report back to me. But you can't make fun of me. Well, you can't make fun of me because it's kind of lame that I watch these shows. Well, I don't watch them anymore but my wife does and I watch it every now and then. But anyways, you get the point. And you have to do whatever it takes to keep you motivated. Whatever works for you. This is just what worked for me and it may work for you, which is why I'm telling you. And I'll actually give you guys another tip while I'm here. I think I've mentioned this before in a prior video, but one of my old surgery attendings, well, she wasn't old, she was like really young actually. But anyways, she told me whenever I had a weekend off to get the heck out of town, and just go somewhere. I have taken that advice to heart and I've gotten a whole bunch of 
uh, messages lately asking me how I travel so much in residency and how I have time for that and how I keep up with it. And it all comes back to what my surgery attending used to tell me, and that was residency is tough. You don't always have time for yourself, so you have to get out of town whenever you have time off. And that kind of goes full circle back to med school because when I was in med school, I used to leave after like every single test. Usually we would have our group of tests on a Friday and after those three or four tests, I would literally go straight to the airport and fly somewhere, whether it be to see my brothers, family, girlfriend at the time or whatever, I would just go. And I think that helped me kind of not think about medicine for a minute and clear my head before I came back to work at med school or residency in my case now. So I just wanted to share that little tidbit again. So that's two secrets in this video now. I gave you guys a little extra bonus there even though I've already mentioned it on another video. But I hope you guys like these tips and I hope you utilize them. I think it kind of helps you stay sane in this hard, arduous process we call med school and residency. Medical training is just not fun, but you have to kind of make it as fun as you can and hopefully this will help you guys. So that concludes this video. I just wanted to give you guys a quick secret on how I stay motivated. Hopefully it helps you guys. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. If I like it, I'll respond to it. If I don't, I won't. Please make sure you smash that like and subscribe button. We need to bump that subscriber count up. Make sure you tell all your friends about my channel. Follow me on Instagram. Otherwise, I will see you guys on the next video.